They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our episode, our, our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics. Um, we also have our Triple T Clips channel and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episode. And of course, we'll add timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, read the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Um, and let us know what you want us to bring up on our next topic, or just leave it. Um, tell us how we're doing. Yeah, bring up the spirits, cause uh, maybe, maybe Albanese, yay, yay, Albanese. <laughs> maybe we, we might have to like cleanse the bad jujus, man. Like I don't know what the fuck is happening. I think recently. we're gonna have to. Do, yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, burn some sage before I go to work. Tomorrow. Oh man, everything that can't go wrong keeps going wrong. <laughs> It's <laughs> aggravating the shit. Yes, sir. Damn, yes, we're sir. deviating from something. I know. I think it's a, I think the live is just throwing everything off. Right. So it's like trying to incorporate and add that to it. Right. With uh, even my intro, I keep fucking up a little bit on it. So you're fine. I don't care about that. That's gonna come naturally. Yeah. I'm talking about the hardware aspect, bro. <laughs> We the hardware listening. and software is just pissing me we off. We keep listening to all these YouTubers and shit. No, like fuck that. We got to do our own shit, bro. <laughs> I'm done listening to all these people and their, <laughs> and their million dollars. He's like, all right, maybe I'll, I'll click them. No, I'm going to do my own shit, man. I'll Come figure on. it out myself. Because that's how we did it the first time, right? Yeah. Figure it out the soundboard by ourselves. Yep. Figure it out the camera layup by yep, ourselves. true. You know what I'm saying? True. Screw it. We figure out a lot of things by ourselves. A lot of things by ourselves. And we even, we even uh, flip from micro um, HD to this so we can get... Uh, right, the capture cards. Capture cards, all that stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's just like... So that really did help Yeah, out. man. But Disney, we, yeah, go ahead. Go we ahead. were talking about racism in Disney. <laughs> racism in Disney. Racist, racist. <laughs> yeah, because Rotten Tomatoes, man. What the fuck? Yeah. So, like, they've been lying to us this whole time. So Rotten Tomatoes is skewing their score. Because um, now they have this new feature called Verified Audience. Yep, instead of all... That, that's the whole, like, Twitter blue bullshit, Instagram... Yeah, we'll only listen Meta to... Meta Plus. Yeah, all that that's bullshit. That's so lame. All that bullshit, bro. That's so lame, bro. Man, I, I still can't believe they're still trying to move forward with this. This is the whole... This is, like, part two of the streaming wars. But this is crazy, too, because they're blaming their fan base. They're saying you're. It's your. You fault. guys are just racist. Yes, you guys are racist. It's your fault. <laughs> the reason why it's like this is because you guys are racist. And it's like no. So basically, um, they're basically everybody that's ran a video on it is basically saying this. So <laughs> our movie sucks because you're racist. <laughs> Just like Jed Pickett Smith's documentary <laughs> on Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Yeah. No. Cleopatra ain't black. <laughs> that blows Get my the mind, fuck bro. out of here. Get the fuck. She says it's because we're racist. We're that, racist. That's why. That's because she she ignored all the historians and all the data and all the um all, all the <laughs> knowledge that has been accumulated <laughs> and said <laughs> oh that's fuck, amazing fuck it we're gonna make it black because that's how I feel that's like she was amazing bro no. so basically if if you are um they call it they call it um a critic critical critic bombing or something like that review bombing so, review bombing so if you don't like the movie you're review bombing but if you like the movie then fantastic That's so, so they're basically saying bullshit. they're basically saying you can't have your own opinion you just have to go with the flow if you hate the movie that's racist. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. That racist. God damn it, that's racist. What the hell? Uh, that, that blows my that's mind. That's crazy. Bro. And, and they're not learning. They're not. They're not. And they're, you know, because they're all, because Hollywood, all these actors and directors are on their fucking. Well, even the director came out and said, 
The only reason why we made Ariel black was because we know it would be. We knew it was gonna, yeah, it's race bait. Mo- yeah, race That's bait. Um, be like a political motivation or whatever she called it. It's so dry. Bro. But, um, and then it's, it, so it's shit, also funny yeah. too because if you watch the 1989 depiction of The Little Mermaid, which I have on Blu ray, um, Literally, wait, Little Mermaid was 1989? 89, my boy. Get the fuck out. Yes, sir. I thought that was within my childhood, bro. Nah. Well, I mean, they replayed it over on Disney. Right, because they kept remastering on HD VHS or some shit like that. Yep. I don't know how you HD VHS. You don't remember HD VHS? Bruh. <laughs> it's tape. Bro, HD VHS was like better than HD DVD. Ah, oh, shit. It was so high quality, it was insane. Bro, that sounds expensive. It's like they're using actual film. I don't even think it was actual film. I think it was like a digital type of thing. It was like a digital VHS. Look it up. HD VHS. That thing shat on, I'd say, Blu-ray. It shat on HD DVD. Shat on DVDs. Bro, HD VHS. It, It only ran for like a limited amount of time because... Um, it was too, the equipment was way too expensive. They had VHS, S, VHS, and DVHS. DVHS is a digital video recording. There you go. DVHS or some shit like that. DVHS. Yep. So S was just standard. Right. Um, the capacity was 50 gigabytes. Wow. HD VHS. Wow. Yeah, dude. That thing was crazy because I remember I went to couldn't afford it. We were poor. Yeah, oh, yeah dude. absolutely. <laughs> Mom got basic. What the fuck, bro? I forgot whose house we went to when we were kids, and they were like loaded, bro. And they had like all the nice fucking tech and 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 stuff like that. Yeah, bro had like a HD VHS with the whole full surround sound. Yeah, you know, like the whole giant towers and shit. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. So basically, um. Uh, even even the 1989 depiction where uh, the prince I don't know what the fuck his name is. Um, wow, I don't know what it is either. I don't know what it is. <laughs> do, do they even give him a name or is he unimportant? I'm Google that bitch. What's the prince name from uh, prince from uh, the Little Mermaid, Mermaid from '89? From '89 Mermaid. Little Mermaid. What's his Eric. Name? Damn. All right, so. So Eric in uh, eighty nine took his ship and uh, rammed it straight through the octopus woman. Word, like he speared her. Shit, he speared right? her. Yeah, he speared her. Because remember, it was eighty nine. So yeah, they was it dying was, violently. Was, was, Hook was eaten by gators. Yeah, be- well, you gotta look at it this way. There was no wokeism. On top of that, it was um, you. You had to either go to the theater or buy it on on DVD. So if you were able to access either of those, then that means they're gonna give you the 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 content that you pay for. Right, right. So. Um, in that film, he rams the the ship through, through Ursula through, to through Ursula. In the movie, she's like, "Fuck you, nigga! I don't need you. I can do it myself because I'm a strong, independent shit. boss, bitch." I'm <laughs> dead. I'm dead. I'm, I'm a strong, independent salmon. <laughs> independent trout. I'm red grouper. Goddamn. I don't need a human. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh uh, shit! What the fuck? That's what that's what was crazy. So they they not only race baited. Random they, thought. Yes. <laughs> it would have been bomb as fuck, bro. If in the Cleopatra movie, bro, uh-huh. she was like, "I call upon the power of Pyrrhus." <laughs> power Ranger Zio. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> I call upon the oh, power shit. of Pyrrhus. Bro, you know what the crazy thing was? They didn't even fuck up the race on that guy too. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Before no. Jason took over because they had to they were losing their power, so they had to transfer You're it before they right. lost it. Yeah. They actually got Egyptian an, an Egyptian niggas. guy, yeah. To play what was it? The black Z no, he wasn't black. The gold Zio Ranger. Yeah. He was the go- What's up? Well, what was the difference? The gold Zio and the black Zio was there a black Zio Ranger? No. There wasn't. He was supposed to technically be, be the, the black, black gold but they made him like black and gold as that was fire pure might motherfucker was a giant pyramid megazord bro, and it just stood up it just stood up arms bro. came out and then it was like fire fingers oh man that's fire man no that's no fire. but uh n- yeah so it, it i mean 
So, what the fuck? So yeah, so that that's that's another that's another issue in the movie. So not only is the fan base racist, but we're all racist guys. But she don't need a man. She wants a man. <laughs> no, she no, yeah right. She didn't. She doesn't need, need one. one. She wants one. She wanted one. yes. So emotional support animal, but. Essentially, that that support animal. <laughs> emotional support. support animal. My God. Yes, because she's a she's a fish. Technically, right? Technically, so he, yeah. So he's a creature. He is a he's an, creature. He's a he's a hairless ape. <laughs> That's crazy, Jeff. The fact that you put it in that perspective is actually insanely yep. accurate. Yep, they're just one of my pets, just like Flounder and Sebastian. That's actually crazy. A support animal. What are you doing there, kid? Bruh, come here. Bruce, come He's here. He's doing a lot. Come here. You're doing a lot. All right, lay down. Relax. There you go. I said relax. I said relax. There you go. Put your buns on the floor. No, so basically that was, um, that's what was, uh, so that's what's been going on with uh, Disney lately. They've been just ostracizing their own audiences. And then it's the same thing that's going on with uh, Netflix and Cleopatra. And uh, who was the other one? Uh, the Lord, the Rings of Power. Rings of Power. Come on, bro. We know them elves was racist. They ain't have no black elves, bro. Get out of here, man. <laughs> what no black elves? That's why I'm the Rings. You're a black elf. You're a dark elf. And dark elves are regular motherfucking elves. Dark elves. Like, come on, we man. Know. I mean, dark elves live longer though. That was the cool part. They did. They live longer than the regular elves. They did. Mm-hmm. Dark elves live longer. Remember Overlord. Think of Overlord. Or, yeah. Well, that's like kind of in like everything. Dark elves always live longer. Always live longer, yes. But, yeah. um, and essentially they were powerful. More powerful than the regular elves. Because they're dark. Yeah. They harnessed the darkness. The nigga energies. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, man. No, yeah, but that's going. And I didn't even know Jada did like a documentary on Cleopatra and then fucking race swapped it and then said her audience is racist. That's gross. Because bro. E- even though the Egyptian historians were coming out and saying Cleopatra was not, you, you didn't historically represent Cleopatra. She l- was not black. Yes, she was in Africa, but she was not black. Where will Smith at, bro? Oh, uh, this is his chance to get it right this no, time. No, remember, he stepped away. He stepped away this from is, her. This is, really? Remember that video we watched? That clip? He's like, I had to step away. Was from that her. real, man? Yeah. He's like, I had to step away from Jada. Plus, he's making a video game. <laughs> His... <laughs> Remember that video game we watched on Bruh. IG? <laughs> he needs to the final boss slapping. would be Chris Rock. Bro. Yo. He need a, it need to come with a, equipped with a slapping feature. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my God. Like he charged his shit up, bro. Like oh on some sight on my slap, yep. bro. <laughs> Damn. That plus ultra slap, bro. bro. What the fuck? I'm telling you, man. That'd be crazy. I'm telling you. That'd be crazy, man. But no, nah, um something we were discussing earlier because um I know you you and I had different um opinions on it, but um we were basically talking about um what was going on with Africa and uh, Uganda. U- Uganda. And uh, what uh, what what specifically was uh, Philip the Franco saying um, that uh, Publix is going to send? Uh, no, I said Publix. <laughs> this me. You got it out for them. Bro, I'm tired. <laughs> <You got it. laughs> oh, what the fuck? Um, they're going to they're them. going to um, what do you call it? Sanction? Is it is it sanction? R- well, right now they're denouncing it, but they will end yeah. up sanctioning. Yeah, and I said, and I basically said. Well, we want to be the world police so bad that we're putting our heads into another situation that we don't need to be in, to which you said you got to look at it from a different perspective. Us letting Hitler do what he did is the reason why a world war started. So if we stop it before it starts, then it's going to make sense. Call it out. I'm not saying we got to go in there and fucking... Justice League that shit, but just be like, hey, look at what these motherfuckers are doing. They're killing people for their freedom of what they want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that just goes through everywhere. If you're a dictator and you feel that you can just kill people, your you own know, people, your especially. own people, like that's just, yeah. What was it? It wasn't empathy, it was 
logical compassion or rational compassion. Rational compassion. Rational compassion. Not empathy. Yeah. Rational We're not saying compassion. Have, we're not saying have or don't have empathy. Right. For the people. You know what I'm saying? But have rational compassion. Like, right? I can't have empathy because I'm not homosexual, but I have rational compassion to know that, hey, you're still going to be killing people. Yeah. Because you don't believe in what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And that in itself is fucked up. And then that can also spiral and snowball into... You know what I'm saying? It's the whole, they got my neighbor, I didn't say anything, yeah. and then they came to me and there was no one there to speak for me. Yeah. Like, come on, bro, this is history, this is basic fucking history, yeah. we've done this a bajillion times. Well, that's why, that's why when you see those, that's why when you, when you see or read those comments that are saying, oh, we need to stop putting our heads in other countries and stuff like that. Dog. And, I, and, and intervening and stuff like that. And and I, I agreed with you in the sense of you saying... Um, right. I'm not saying we need to go in there and yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. A-team them motherfuckers. No. And no. I think that's where a lot of people are looking at it from. Right, yeah. They're looking at it from that perspective. Oh, we're sticking our head where it doesn't belong. It's not our country. That ended doing. with with Afghanistan. Once we left, we were done. Yeah. I think that was like the last depot of like... Us really fighting a conflict for other people. Yeah. Now we can just send you a whole bunch of guns and shit. And then you figure it out. And then you figure it out. And then we get a piece of whatever pie yep. you, 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 you. Yep. Uh, you or we'll just destabilize the fuck out your government. <laughs> Create a vacuum, guerrilla warfare, you know what I'm saying, terrorism. Uh, you know? Uh, but it's like, you don't have to deal with that if you just don't persecute people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let them be them. You can keep your dictatorship and run your government. Just don't be killing motherfuckers. And that's the route that he's he's starting to uh, go, which is why you say they're gonna probably start sanctioning. They're gonna sanction the fuck out, bro. Yeah. They're gonna sanction the hell out of them, man. And it's just like, like I said, we don't gotta go in there. And no, we no that that we've been done with that. That's what I I I yeah. I, I cannot agree to us going in and trying to fix things like. Af- like I said, Afghanistan is a relic of that era. Like, that's the last time we really ever, w- like, we're going to be going into a country. Yeah, we have we still have bases stationed in other places. Mm-hmm. Sure, but, like, we're not fighting active conflicts with another nation state or a, a, or a, a terrorist state or anything like yeah. that. You see what I'm saying? We just have our bases over there, you know. And the only time I believe we'll act is, of course, Taiwan and... If any of them get attacked. If any of our allies get, right. get attacked. Right, you know what I'm saying, in NATO. But, like... Then, of course, then... We're that, done with that, that shit, That makes bro. sense, yeah. So, now now it's sanctions. Now it's just sanctions. Yeah, we'll stop you sending know? you or, or trading right. with you and all right. that stuff. But, no, I, I, I agree. I think people should look into it more instead of just going at it face value and just automatically jumping in assuming that that's what we are going to do and i'm not going to lie that's that was my thought process too I was it's like, so efficient yeah. any inefficient to do that nowadays yeah, yeah like thinking about like maybe in 20 in 2008 maybe to 2014 oh we need to send soldiers no the fuck because like you said we're in a country you I'm, I, s- I live in a country where i can say something yeah like that. exactly exactly so. you don't have to wake up a day in your life and think about oh i can't exist in this way yeah you see what i'm saying they're I telling me that, that i can't be, right. be this way or live this way or live this way regardless if you agree with it or not yeah you still have the ability to wake up and just i can do this because yeah, I, I can because i literally have that absolute freedom you know what i'm saying you know so yeah. it's just it's just shit like that like a lot of people felt a reason it's just rational compassion mm-hmm. Rational compassion. I don't got to empathize with nobody. I don't got to be in your shoes. I just know you're a human being. And at the end of the day, you should have the free will to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And not have your life threatened. For being a certain way. For being a certain way. Yeah. Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Just because your ideals don't align with mine doesn't mean... I deserve death. I deserve death. That's crazy. Yeah. No, I agree. I that's agree. crazy. You know what I'm saying? That, that's something that I agree with. So it's just shit like that. But uh, I do know we ended up uh, getting into the whole conversation. Where it was just like, 
I always keep bringing it back, or it's just like, uh, how did you? How did it come up? Because we went from that, and then before I was gonna go. To oh, the- because we were watching this video. Oh yeah, on, when he, on like when God asked, asked a sage, I was like, "What do you mean, God asked the sage how uh, where to send the angels or where to hide the angels? Where to hide the angels? Where and he and asked the sage where to hide the angels, and the and angels, the, and the, and the sage said, among, "Hide the angels among their hearts." And I was just like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait!" God asked a sage, human, a human, a hairless ape. A monkey, no. <laughs> chimpanzee, <laughs> chimpanzee. You know what I'm saying? Where to hide the? And I was just like, but isn't God all knowing and all omnipotent and all that? Like, why would He ask a sage? And how did the follow up question come and, up? And and then that's when you were. And I guess we reached a consensus. We we're like, okay, this was probably before He sent Jesus. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And then I kind of elaborate on that right. and said, you got to understand, he is all powerful and all knowing, but he's not lived, he has not lived the human experience. The human experience. So he does not know. He doesn't understand the, 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 what do you call it? The suffering? The suffering. Is it suffering? Well, I mean, every day is suffering. Right. <laughs> Existence is pain. Existence is pain. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, so. We came to the conclusion, okay, this was probably before he sent Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then it always comes back to the whole, like, that blows my mind that he was, like, he was Jesus as well. Jesus is him. Yes. And he's Jesus. But Jesus has had his own consciousness Mm -hmm. and free will. But we were theorizing that. But we were theorizing, like... He didn't tell Jesus that he didn't tell Jesus that he is him because we basically were saying that if if God told Jesus that I am you and you are me, right. then he would have not no, no fear, no pain, no anger. Right. He'd be on some like omnipotent stuff, dark side type, you know, yeah. Omega Beam type. So <laughs> he Darth, could Darth Vader type. Right. Shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Sith Lord type shit. I don't want to die. Type oh, shit. man. You know what I'm saying? But like. But that's the thing. And even through him, like, he experienced humanity. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, he experienced anger, you know, when when he tore up the, the, the what you want to call it? Flip that table. <laughs> where he, yeah. I, I don't want to say the church, but, like, that, that area where they were offering to forgive people's sins mm. for for payment and stuff like that. And, of course, temptation, mm. you know. Uh, forgiveness, mm-hmm. you know, empathy, like with with the the stones and the the whore and all that, and of course he experienced um, uh, what should we call it? Would w- would I say doubt? No, you haven't said doubt. Doubt. Where on the cross he asked the Lord, "Why has He forsaken, forsaken him? me?" Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And not knowing that you are Him. him. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. Um, but then it got into the whole theory of that's why we don't clone motherfuckers. Yes. Because, like, you're fucking with something in the soul. Because, like, um, what was it? The island with um, with uh, um, Scarlett Johansson Word. and um, the guy that played um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. What's his name? Bro. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I'm having a brain for it right now. I hate you. Why <laughs> are you? You are the chosen one. You were supposed to uh, defeat the dark side, not no, join no, him. Why are you? Why are you? Ian McGregor. Ian McGregor. Yeah. Okay. Word. So, uh, with, with uh, those two, it's like they grew their own conscience. They grew their, they're like, why are we on this island? Why are we, why are we going here? Why are we going there? Come to find out that they were clones of superstars. And were, and they were harvesting their organs. And they were harvesting their organs. So they basically grew them. They basically grew them to harvest the organs and kill them and then toss them out. That's crazy. The only reason why he was going to get an organ transplant was because his star, the, the movie star version of him smoked a fuck ton. Or had liver cancer or something like that. That's so fucked. So essentially, they were just basically going to replace his parts um, um, as soon as they they finished growing them. 
but he ended up escaping with Scarlett Johansson, uh, Scarlett Johansson's character, which was crazy to me because. But like you said, it is. It is playing with it, and it's like right. And it's like you're fucking with something that's like, and I'm guessing that's why that's an international law. We don't clone humans. Humans, and even though it's possible. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's still dangerous. There's just something that's in there. Not even just the consciousness. Anything can have consciousness, but there's just something in there. Like so, like um, a soul that never exists starts to be, uh, become existent, and it's like, right? Is, is it you? Like, what do you? Or is it a piece of somebody right. else? Is but it, then again, what is a twin? Your soul split in half. Right, I feel that. Like, that's more organic than... Yeah. Like, because I, I could be fully grown and then you clone me. Because this, that anime, what happened? Remember the sister split? Oh, I, word! I, I, um, Anos. Anos Voldigo. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, you had to yeah, go back yeah. in time. Grab the other half of her soul, right. bring it together, make it whole, so they each had their own souls, their own souls. A, a, whole, a complete soul. Right, right, right. So right. that's that's kind of that's kind of what it is. It's just a soul split in half. Yeah, but like, well, no, that's different though. It is. Because let's say you're fully grown, you already grew up. Mm-hmm. You're fully conscious of who you are, mm-hmm. and then I just take a piece of you, and then I grow a another version of you. Is it still me? Right. It's not going to... I'm not going to grow it fully grown. It's going to have to start off as a baby. Uh, right. It's going to have to live its own life. But you already lived the life. That it's already lived. That that it hasn't lived yet. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And then you got to tell it, you have no father. You have no mother. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Then it's going to question its existence. Right. Like, everything about it is fucked. Damn. It's identity is fucked. So how do you do that? That's what I'm saying. That's why it's fucked up. That's, That's why we do don't. Do that. That's why we don't. It's like in um, Resident Evil. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, even though the movie fucking came out a long time ago. <laughs> um, she found out she was the clone the whole time. The only one that survived. So the last film... Word, yes. yeah, because they kept cloning her ass. Bro. Yeah, they kept cloning her. She kept waking up in that damn room, <laughs> ripping them things yeah. off of her. But she was literally the only actual clone that survived and evolved and found out that she was a clone. Right. Yes, I found the recording of her original self that died saying that you're a clone, blah, 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 this and that. And so, right. Yeah, so it's like the the entire franchise is based off of you trying to get to a specific place Ooh, it's also like that show that we watched on Netflix where they sent clones of themselves to terraform another oh, planet. Oh, I know what you're talking on about. On the trip. And, and all they have is their scene, memories. And all they have is their memories. So they understand their purpose. Like the right. first thing that they tell them is you're a clone. You're a clone. But then they start saying, I don't want to die. They, I don't want to die. They have their wants, their needs, their wishes. The clones even want to see their own family. families. Yeah, but it's like those aren't your families. You see what I'm saying? And and if those like a bad batch, they would kill you and then re. Yeah, well, it's like when um, it's like when he said when the clone um, if his clone like successfully terraformed that planet, we would he would be able to family. clone his wife, his the wife, one, the one that died, but it wasn't his wife. But it wasn't his wife. It just wife. had her memories. The last memories uh, of when uh, the last memories of right, when she died. Right. So that was the last last thing that he remembers. Was Yeah hell you see what I'm saying? You see how messed up it yeah, gets bro? It's fucked up. It's you see how up. messed up it gets and every single time they cloned them they'll be like, okay, your last the last version of you was murdered. Yes. Oh the last version of you Mutated from radiation. Oh, the last version of you died from cancer. This is what they accomplished. But every time it's each clone you. is born, they feel like a new person. person. You because see what I'm not. saying? But it's not them. Damn. They've been on this journey for almost a hundred years and they've gone through a thousand clones of versions themselves. Of them. A thousand versions of themselves. But every single time they're reborn again, it feels like they just left. The earth. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. You see how messed up that is, that bro? Sucks. That sucks. See, if man. they if they did this, because 
they gave them memories up to when they launched, right? Were so if they were because I know they're in the cryostasis going through the galaxy because it says it's going to take them uh, some out of what the average two hundred years mm-hmm. to get where they need to get. If they were able to upload new memories every single time and then it transmits it to them when they go to sleep or if they get like in a pod or whatever, Word. that'd be different because then they... Like on some cryo sleep. Type. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But because because that's not what's happening, it's like, damn, once I die, I don't exist. And then a new version of me mm-hmm. just gets the same memory from when... from. Oh, but weird. they don't even know that. That's though. weird, dude. That's what's weird about that's weird. it. They don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, which goes back to that's why I think God did not tell Jesus that it was him. I am you. you I am know. you, and you and I. Which is because if he, like I said, if he didn't experience humanity, humanity he, genuinely. He, Yes. Right. So, because right. God talked to most of his prophets, his people, all that stuff like that. People that he needed to change the world or believe mm-hmm. in him and all that stuff like mm-hmm. that throughout the Bible. But, he, so and he did the same thing with Jesus. But he did not tell Jesus that you are me and I am you. Because I, he, I could be saying this wrong, but if he did, then he would have been on some God complex. Right. He had to develop and build that faith in on, God. In God. And, of course, access the powers that were within him mm-hmm. through faith in God, even mm-hmm. though he already had those powers. Yeah. You know but, but, like, him believing, believing. <laughs> that... You got to. He, <laughs> yeah. That's why it's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. You know what that's I'm saying? why it's crazy. So it's just like, I don't know. Like, that's why cloning people's like, it's, it's fucked, man. That's why it, it, it sucks when they clone animals because it's like do they know? Well, animal doesn't have that next level of self-awareness. That we know of. No, self-aware. Because it's like saying Bruce is self-aware. Bruce is not self-aware. You can tell he's not self-aware. Because he doesn't even look at his reflection. You're right. We talked about this. Right. uh, With Jimmy. Right. Talked about this because animals just animal. They just animal. They go based off their instincts. Right. Everything's just a reaction to a stimulant stimulant. of the outside. Yes. Just like the bunny this morning. Right. He saw the bunny. He wanted to react. He looked at us. Something in his soul wanted to go after that bunny. No matter how much we asked him to calm down or try to distract him. While we just looked at the bunny. While we just looked Ah. at the bunny. Right. But something in him is just like, I need to get that bunny. Yeah. I need to get that bunny. Yeah. It's in his DNA. He needs to get that bunny. That makes sense. That's what so, because, like you said, animal. Uh, like Jimmy said, animals just animal. Well, they just they're animal. they're just born to right. to do what they naturally right. were created to do. Right. And animals are not gonna know it's a clone. No. Yeah, that's true. You see what I'm saying? Fuck. That like sucks. And that's what's deeper than you know in in the human. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's deeper in the human, you know? Like, the soul is just more complete. Mm-hmm. That's why they made that movie, Do all, all Dogs Go to Heaven. Do dogs go to heaven? Do you ever see dogs in heaven? Uh, so that you think they just made it to make... You see what I'm saying? No, 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 really. Do animals go to heaven? Is there a heaven for animals? Or is it just the same as ours? Like the Eden Garden. Or the Garden of Eden. Where all the animals were. Were the, the same. animals the same? But did those animals have souls? No, they were they were controlled by God, the Word of God, and Adam uh, named every animal. Uh, you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's like, fuck. You know? <laughs> That's why it's like it, it gets deeper than that it's when you deeper. start fucking with the soul, like with the essence of what makes a human a human. So as much as as scientists. Or some scientists choose not to believe in a higher power. Or that's higher something being. they don't want to mess that's with. That's something they don't want to mess with because... That is something you do you, not want to mess with. Not at all. With every action, there's a reaction. Not at all, sir. That is something you do not want to mess with. With every action, there is a reaction. So, but no, man. I, wow, that's that's a, that's, that's really... Um, 
something to think about because that's not something that um like people actually sit down and think they're like oh yeah we can clone this we can do this yeah we can, we can clone all this but it's like mm, i don't know i don't know what you're gonna tell that uh I don't know what you're going to tell the clone, bro. And how's that... Is that clone going to be mentally stable knowing that... It doesn't come from anything... Legitimately, like... Mm -hmm. You know, natural. You're an unnatural thing. Yeah. So would you say that with... um, Like a perfect example is the Man of Steel movie... When they were all just born from the giant incubator. And where's the soul coming from? That's true. Like, in essence, what is going to give that clone its identity? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, prime example, when, um, what you want to call it, that lady who cloned her dog 23 times. Mm-hmm. Each of them had a singular trait that her dog had all together. But, but they weren't all the same. Same. Something was just slightly off about them. So would you say animals have souls then? Because the characteristics that a dog well, I think portrays. Animals have, biology in general has a memory. There's like biological memory. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that kind of goes into that whole morphic resonance type mm-hmm. shit. That we were watching. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like biology has a memory. Rather than, you know, it's just evolution that decides or genes or DNA that decides what traits are passed down. Like, there are, like, prime example, you have the same temperament as your dad, but you've never met your dad. True. You you, you experience some characteristic traits that you've never, that you, and, and even people are say sometimes, um why are you doing this like your father? And it's like, well, I've never met my I've never dad, met so my I don't dad. know what he so does. So I don't know what he did. So you telling me this is basically... Right. It's just biological memory. Yeah. Like, there are just some things... Because you gotta understand, when you pass on offspring, you're literally just passing down the same genes that created you and your personality, half of them, to your offspring. To your offspring. So whatever genes were highly expressed or in your personality and shit, that's going to go out into your offspring as well. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, in, with the whole morphic resonance thing, it's just like, sometimes cells, sometimes atoms that make up the systems that create cells and proteins have a memory. Like, it's just this extra force that exists, this thing that exists within biology Mm -hmm. that just remembers how an organism is and was and should be it should be okay you see what i'm saying and not just dna you know that's like when um when uh they were uh, playing uh when i was watching that dog with that, that dog movie where um he had he had gotten the puppy when he was young right. puppy ended up dying and they kept being reincarnated into a different dog every single time. Oh, the anime? No, 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 no. no, no. It's a regular movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So he, he eventually found his original owner. Of course, the guy was in his 60s. Where? But he originally found his original owner, and he's been looking for him all his lifetimes. So every time he died, he became a different dog. He died from that, became a different dog. Died from that, became a different dog. But he kept the memories. Uh, so that's that yeah he kept a memory so when he finally found the guy he was doing the same tricks that he remembered doing with the first thing yes was, as a kid uh, and it was crazy did so, the guy recognize it yes that's actually kind of trip that would freak me out sell the dog <laughs> the fuck? hey you found Demonic. me that's weird though get the fuck out <laughs> that's Dem- weird as fuck Demonic. what the heck yeah what the heck? If I had a dog like 10 years down the road that was doing shit Bruce did, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Or responded to the name that we gave him. Yeah, that's... Uh, all the commands that we did mm, uh-huh. and the same. But will that change your perspective on whether they have... Will that still be... your? Th- will your thought process still be, is it because of the memory or is it because of the soul? What do you mean? 
Because remember, you said right, 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 animals, right. animals. Like right, yeah. animals. They animals. were created. What could animals. be the whole morphic resonance shit? Yeah. Or biologically, his his makeup knows like that's how it responds. I don't know how to say this. Like you, like you really have to understand the process behind morphic resonance, mm-hmm. because it's not like it's. I would say it's borderline pseudoscience because like nothing is in concrete, but like it makes sense when you think about it. Yeah, yeah. of course there's DNA and stuff like that. Yeah, we all understand that Darwinian, neo Darwinian evolution theory and all that. Mm-hmm. But like morphic resonance is just this idea that like no matter like prime example Darwinian evolution is like okay small changes over time lead to branches in genes and speciation and shit like that you see what I'm saying but over the course of time the diversity we have in certain species is way too diverse for it to be incremental changes gotcha so Something within the gene, like a an outside stress, it's, it has to be an outside stress so great. It shifts it. It completely shifts the makeup of that organism in one fell swoop. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the organism has that, retains that biological memory. memory. It you just know? transforms into right. something different. Right. And of course, you could have certain traits. That you pass on and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But like all together there's biological markers or memories that the organism will remember as a species. So do you think it's like, oh, I remember do I, I remember doing this but I've never done it type type word. Thing? Okay, prime example. Mm-hmm. It's like within the last thirty years, thirty, forty years, the percentage in the human population who have myopia it's gone straight through the fucking roof. But we, yeah, myopia, yeah. which is the football eyes. Yeah, football eye, almost. I, yeah, I, I remember yeah. you were talking about it. Yeah, the we football. Wa- yeah, we watched the video. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cases of myopia have skyrocketed within the past forty years. This wasn't a common occurrence. Like people weren't wearing glasses like that. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It was like, uh, but something in. Our biological makeup was shifted. shifted. Yeah, we're now uh, x amount of uh, percentage of the population has football eyes, mm-hmm. and we all need glasses, and we all need glasses, and no one can explain that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like it's just shit like that. You know, like you can't say, "Oh, that's genetic or evolutionary," because mm-hmm. that didn't happen gradually over time. 30 years compared to the entire existence of humanity, that's not enough time to change the entire population or global makeup of, of you know, how your eyes are formed and shit like that. Yeah. So it's just, just weird shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, if you're interested in that, morphic resonance, it's it's pretty, uh, uh, I forgot what the guy um, who's, who's kind of really into that Was it field. that video you were watching yesterday? Something Levin's. Yeah. Something Levens. Well, no, no, that was a part three that the guy. Oh, more for resonance. More for resonance. It's like a three-part series, mm-hmm. but like so, I think it's Michael Levens. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's Michael Levens. It's something Levens. He has a cool name. <coughs> but yeah, man, it's just weird stuff like that. So do you think the idea of playing with, because because it, it's it's crazy because you look at him and you're like, okay, does he really understand what we are saying? Like, does he really remember certain things, attributes, all that stuff like that? Because his facial expressions, you can tell when he's happy, you can tell when he's sad, you can tell when he's bored, you can tell all that stuff like that. And it's like... (laughs) (laughs) So it's just, that. that's why I always wonder. I always think about it like that. Because um, sometimes you just wonder, like, are they actually aware? So... Right. But that's just my thought process behind it. But um, again, too, like you said, uh, going back to the whole clone uh, cloning thing, can't mess with the soul, man. Can't mess with the soul. Huh? But I get, I get why. Like I said, I get why God did what He did with Jesus. Because again, if He knew, 
it would have been different because he can't experience. He wouldn't be able to he experience. He wouldn't be able to experience. That's like I'm waiting, like, God took advice. From a sage. From a sage. Yeah. And it's like, why? Why? But he doesn't know what it feels like to be human. Yep. So he wouldn't know where to hide the angels and the hearts of humans. Like, he made them, but he is not them. He's beyond them. So he doesn't understand. That's like, do you understand how an ant feels? No. Do you care? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was, the, that was the best analogy ever. Yeah, I'm saying okay. <laughs> do you? Do you? No, nah, you're right because yeah. what do we do every every spring? We buy ant sprinkles, right. and Throw it in the yard, murder them all. Yeah, that's the it. Fuck? They take it to their colony, all of them die. Murder them all. Mow the grass, step on them, water them, cook them in the sun. Yeah, it. That's big. What? What? What God is to us, we're ants to God. Right. And it's it's like, I have a lot of you guys. I just made you because, you know, I thought it would be a nice, fun little pet project. Exactly. Take care of my little garden, my ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. You know what I'm saying? But Create things. But now you guys are destroying my ant farm. This isn't fun. How do I make you guys stop destroying it? <laughs> Water. Water. Ah, burn it. <laughs> You Bro, ain't that what we did? Pour water down the ant hill? Yeah. We okay. Used we used to do that. <laughs> okay. Pour water. We used to do that. No, you're right, man. We used to do that. <laughs> Flood them out. What the fuck? We used to do that. You know what I'm saying? But then you guys rebuild because that's what you guys do. You're yeah. ants. And then you start fucking shit up again. So now I want to understand why do you guys keep messing up? Mm-hmm. So I send me down there as an ant. But I don't tell me it's me. <laughs> well, don't tell me it's me. So everything me feels, I feel. But he doesn't know he's me until he dies. <laughs> until he dies. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy. But mm, mm, mm. in conclusion, in conclusion, yeah. In conclusion, still waiting for my damn paycheck to come in. Oh, really? You still haven't got yeah, it yet? Yeah, actually crazy. <laughs> what happened to the two days early? This is crazy. Is it 12 o'clock? It's beyond 12. Really? I usually get it on Wednesday. You probably got a bonus. Really? You think so? Yeah, if you do. It, oh, word for some holiday and shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's usually when you get a bonus, it, it, it delays it. Word. I feel that. So, but no, man. Um, I mean... I, I think we basically summed it all up, man. Racist Disney. Cloning. Racist. Racist Disney. Why God didn't tell Jesus? You know how your movie got a low score? Because you're racist. That's not racist. 99% of the population is racist. You know why the documentary sucks? Because you're racist. Because you're racist. That's retarded. What the fuck? That's stupid. What the fuck? That's stupid. <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, all right. We'll take us home, guys. Thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. Also, we have our YouTube channel, One Word Tabletop Topics, and our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So don't forget to click on the links. It'll take it direct you to the video. And of course, we're going to add timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Did you already say ugly mugs? Yes. Damn, go ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe, bro. You want me to repeat it again? No, because I want to do a hand thing and it's not the same. Just finish it. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever. And leave us a comment. <laughs> I hate that. I keep zoning out, bro. Yes, I literally say catch and watch our ugly mugs. There you go. You see, I did it for you. <laughs> Guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. See ya.